of his teammates that their guy gets to be out there to celebrate it with him and then the Gatorade bath and there's Dickerson to carry his coach off the field Nick said he enjoyed the ride I bet he did and uh, Nick Saban with a smile on his face joins us and and Nick I can't help but think of how often you and I through the, the years that I've been lucky enough to have this show have visited after you guys have won and the destination is the same but obviously this journey is different and I know you're about process down there but this process what you and your teams had to go through daily weekly from summer to now how do you best explain to the rest of us what that was like well I, I think this team I told this team in the very beginning when we knew we we're going to have a lot of disruptions that the team that handles the disruptions the best is the team that's going to have the best chance to be successful in the end and this team really did it and if you talk to the players they actually say that a lot of the disruptions and a lot of the things that we weren't able to do whether it was spring practice or summer conditioning or whatever it was actually made the team the team closer and we became a better team because of some of the disruptions which I was actually surprised to hear but certainly they demonstrate that in the way they compete and play. I went back and looked it was May when you came on with me and we visited about the idea of, of being home with family and, and I think people were struck Nick by just you know the joy of that how, how much you got out of something you and your coaches never would have had the opportunity to do being home with them. But when you got back to this season and you got back to be with this team would it be reasonable to say that, that, that there was a joy in coaching this year and an appreciation for what the chance you got that, that maybe you might not have had otherwise. Well I think sometimes when something gets taken away from you yeah uh, we all have a lot more appreciation for it when we get it back and there was no question that that was the case this year with this team uh, and I think that may have been some of the what made this team closer because they realized that hey we may not play this year we may not be together um, they didn't know what for sure the future was going to bring uh, and I think when they all did come back they really appreciated that we had an opportunity to play and wanted to do all they could to have success and they certainly did it in a in a very fine fashion. I know it's about team not one guy but as you saw the highlight we were showing clearly Devontae was was featured in it and, and he's special he's unique. Uh, this night was I just wonder how those words describe this young man who as we know he could have gone for that paycheck but decided to stick around and he is rewarded with a title how how special how unique is that young man. Well he's a unique person uh, in the kind of leadership that he has the kind of competitive spirit he has and I think Smitty would be successful in any endeavor that he wanted to try. You know in his life he's obviously going to have a career as a football player and uh, but I think he created a lot of value for himself by coming back. I think sometimes people don't realize how much value guys create going from the second to you know sure. maybe a top 10 pick or whatever which uh, the way he competed and played this year and he's the ultimate team guy. I mean he, he sets a great example for his teammates he cares about his teammates uh, sets a great example for him every day and I tell you he, he he's hard to beat. Uh, I mean I just love that guy. I bet you do. Speaking of creating value. Coaches that come and coach under you. We got one down the corner. My alma mater locks is here at Maryland who, who was where Sark was. And of course Sark's going now to Texas. Um, I just wonder what you'd have to say about the last uh, script that he drew up and, and the, the execution of that script. But what he had in terms of a game plan for your team tonight on the offensive side of the ball. Well, Sark's done a great job for us all year long uh, and absolutely did a really, really good job. You know, some people would have a difficult time taking the head coaching job at Texas uh, the day or two after we, uh, you know, beat Notre Dame and then stay focused on what they needed to do. Uh, but it shows his appreciation for the players. Uh, and I think uh, that's something that I really admire in him because that's something that I've always, you know, tried to really. Um, make the most important thing in being a coach that you care about the players and you want to do what's best for the players and I wanted to win this game tonight for our players because of what they had accomplished and what they'd done all year long and uh, it was really special for me to see them have success in the game tonight. When I spoke to LeBron this year after the Lakers won I referenced having a chance to speak to two different people in my career who won a lot. One of them was you 
and the other was Tiger Woods. And the, the idea, Nick, was about the appetite for success and about maintaining a hunger to be great, even when you already have achieved it. I know you're not one to talk about self, but I mean, look, seven's more than anybody. And, and I just wonder if you could explain to me how the appetite and the hunger to continue to be not good at this, but, but great at this is sustained. Where, where does that come from? Well, I, I, you've heard me say before, I hate to lose. And I don't care how much <laughs> I, I get you win, uh, you still hate to lose. Yeah. And you can talk about the seven that we won, but the two that haunt me are the two that we lost. And uh, don't don't ask me why it's that way. Um, I, I have a lot of pride in performance and want to try to do the best I possibly can uh, as a coach uh, to have the best program that creates value for the players. I'm talking about value in terms of personal development, academics and graduating and developing careers off the field. Career development and and the football players. I mean, sure. and I think that's one thing that people overlook about the program is we really do try to create value for players, and I think that's why we get a lot of good players. Well, you you stand alone, but you do share a common thread with some of the best coaches and players I've ever talked to in all the years I've done this. It seems that the losses are are more memorable and haunt more than the wins but my god you got so many wins to remember nick i certainly hope that as you lay down tonight you're thinking about the wins and this one which you and your guys earned because this was a remarkable team you coached it, it seems you were never stressed i'm sure that wasn't the case but you made it you made something that's really hard look really easy and as always i'm grateful for your time all the best to you all right i appreciate it thank you so much head coach nick saban We'll continue to talk about them and the one big thing.